everyone and welcome to the Mushroom Den. So today we're going to make a variety of chocolate ice cream bars. And the first thing we need to do is prepare our condensed milk. So in a small container add some plant-based milk, followed with some cornstarch. Whisk until smooth and set it aside. Next on a saucepan on medium heat add some coconut milk. Now you want to stir until the coconut milk has melted completely. Add some cane sugar. I know it looks like it's a lot but the condensed milk needs to be very sweet because that's the only sugar we'll be using and you'll understand why in a minute. Next you can go ahead and add the cornstarch mixture. Stir continually until it thickens but you don't want to let it boil. You know it's ready when you can run your finger like this and the path stays clear. Now we can make the ice cream. The first one is the vanilla and lime ice cream. Add about half of the condensed milk in a mixing bowl, then some coconut cream, vanilla extract, and some lime juice. Mix everything until completely smooth, then set it aside. We'll be adding it to the mold later. Next we're making some double chocolate ice cream. So you want to go ahead and add your condensed milk in a bowl, add some cocoa powder, Give it a good mix. This makes better when the condensed milk is still warm. And now we can add our coconut cream. Again, mix everything. And set it aside. Our next one is our peanut butter ice cream. Again, starting with our condensed milk. The coconut cream. And of course some peanut butter. Now mine is a bit hard and I don't mind it. I love to have bits of peanut butter in the ice cream. And again we can set this one aside. And the last one is our salted caramel. In a blender add some dates, some salt, and coconut milk. Blend everything until smooth and our salted caramel is ready. In the mixing bowl, go ahead and add the condensed milk, the coconut cream. Mix everything until smooth. Then add your salted caramel. Give it a quick stir and we're ready to put everything in our mold. So I have this set of silicone mold and I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of my ice cream starting with the chocolate, vanilla lime, peanut butter, and the salted caramel. Cover everything and add the sticks. Pop this in the freezer for at least 8 hours overnight. So a few hours later, before we remove our ice creams from the fridge, uh, we can go ahead and prepare our nuts. Here I have some roasted peanuts that I'm going to roughly chop and set aside. Next we need to melt our chocolate, so I'm going to roughly chop them. Add them in a bowl and place them on top of boiling water and you'll see how within a few minutes it perfectly melts. Pour the chocolate in a tall glass and we're ready to assemble everything. Let the ice cream sit on the counter for about 10 to 15 minutes before you try to remove it. Dip the ice cream in the chocolate and quickly dump it in the peanut before the chocolate dries out. And our first one is ready. Now you can go ahead and continue the same process with all of them or you can completely skip the nuts if you don't like it. I did a mix of some with nuts and some without. And this is what they look like. 
Now this set of mold came with a set of plastic to store the ice cream, which I think is so convenient. I'll put the link down below if you're interested in getting that. So that's it for my ice cream bars. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it easy to follow. Thank you so much for watching and on to the next video as always. Have a best one.